Matt, firstly, congratulations on being appointed as the new head coach of the Saddlers. What does it mean to you landing this role? Um, obviously, it's a huge honour personally, um, and it's a huge honour for me and my family. So, yeah, really, really proud, really pleased, um, delighted and want to get started. But um, for me, yeah, it's a huge honour um, to have been entrusted in that by the owners, by, by Steph, Dan, Ben, Matt, uh, Lee. Um, and it's uh, a moment that I was always prepared for and always looking for, uh, looking forward to. And I'm just glad that I've been given that, that trust um, and can't wait to get going. You've been part of the coaching setup for the last couple of seasons now. You've developed personally, professionally as well during those seasons. But I suppose why was the right, why was it the right time for you to go for this, you know, permanent role now? I suppose. Well, I, I think the unique perspective that I came from, um, and I wanted to make this extremely apparent within the process as it was, that I feel that um, I know the football club better than anybody else. Um, I know where it's been, uh, what what made it what it was um, at the times that we've had huge success, which we've all looked back to and seen. Um, and I see where we are now. Uh, and I've been um, an inside observer and part of, of where I think it's got to now. Um, so I feel I had the unique perspective of, of knowing what I'd like to do to, to kind of reverse that and move us forward. And I think it's, it's um, you know, again, spoke to um, the owners at length um, I want to create an identity here, an identity that we haven't had um, for for a good number of years now, and it's an important thing for me that that I'm fully aware of where I want this football club to be, where I want it to be viewed, how I want it to be seen from the outside, uh, and how I want to attract players to it. Um, and uh, yeah, again, I go back to all of those experiences that I've had with different managers during this time. I'll use some of those experiences for sure, exactly the same with the experiences that I've had as a player under the fantastic managers that I've had as a player, but I'll do it my way and that's the most important thing. It's your first opportunity to lead the, the club as a permanent head coach. How determined are you to showcase everything that you've learned over those past couple of seasons as a coach and as a player as well, you know, and then implement your own style, your own identity on the team? Yeah, exactly that. I'm, I'm determined to make sure the environment is a culture um, and a place that the players are desperate to come to work, des desperate to come and improve. That's the most important thing for me. Um, and they're desperate to come and learn uh, and be part of, of a team and a real togetherness about that. And then I want that to feed into to every other aspect of the football club. And I want the, the football club to be viewed, as I say, from the outside as that place of real togetherness, that everyone's pulling in that same direction. Um, and it starts from us and it starts from the environment that I create from the training ground. Um, and I want it to ooze out from there. You've been, you know, you've been a player yourself, you know what it takes to be successful at this level as well. How do you get that then across to, to players? You know, you, you know what it takes to, to be a success on the pitch. How do you then now as a head coach get that across to the players that you're going to be working with and looking to bring into the club as well? I think um, for me as a player, the most important aspect of that was knowing that the manager, whoever that was, whoever I worked for, trusted me, respected me, respected my career, respected that at times during a season, you'll have real control over aspects of their career and don't take that for granted. Um, the best ones I worked for were, were extremely authentic and, and personal on a human level, cared about their players. Um, and I like to think that, that the lads will know that I care about them deeply and care about their careers deeply. Um, and if together we can foster that, um, that spirit that we care about each other personally and, and each other's circumstance and each other's togetherness, it can be a hugely powerful thing. And they were the, the teams that I've been successful with, that togetherness was everything. Um, that, um, that sense that, that you're going to help out your mate as well as help out yourself is everything that I look to instill and everything that I'm about. Um, so, but for me as a coach, I know that, that um, anybody that that has worked with me to this day and anybody that will work with me in the future, they'll know that they'll get somebody who cares about their career. And I think that's the most important thing that any player wants to hear and know. And as a leader during your playing careers as well, you, you talk about nurturing those those players, taking an interest in them as, as people as well as players. Do you think those leadership qualities now will stand you in good stead for this role as well? 
hopefully but i see them as human qualities that I, I care about people i care about uh, you know players what i care about you i care about everyone else uh, at the football club i want to uh, i understand people um that's uh, a thing that that is a conscious um trait of, of who i am as a person uh, and and again i hope that that becomes something where i want people players to come to me i want players to um, feel like they can talk to me express how they're feeling express what's going on in their lives um and I hope and a, a, the the desire and I think the thought for any of that is that that goes to to then become something powerful out there and something powerful every day on the training field, which is what it's all about. Um, so long and short of that, I've repeated myself a few times, but I care about the players, I care about the staff, um, and together we have to f make something powerful. You will have worked with obviously the players over the last season or so. Everybody who's under contract, out of contract, does that those final three games that you took charge of as, a, as an interim head coach? Do you feel like you now know the foundations that you've got to build on going into the summer? I go back to the first thing I said. I feel like I was the unique candidate of I know everything about this football club. I know everything about the players within the building. I know everything about um, the the players that are going to be retained and everything about the players that are, are going to to move on to other opportunities. Um, uh, and and it's important to me that that process is done properly as well, um, because again, I'm as I go back to um, uh, at times I'm in control of other people's careers and lives, so I respect that hugely. Um, but again, for me, it's all about on that personal level, um, and and everybody can expect from myself, from you guys, from the fans, they can expect a, a person who will be approachable, um, and I want to um, to value each and every one of you, and that'll be the same with the players. On the flip side of it now for you, as a, you've experienced summer transfer windows as a, as a player, you mentioned getting to know people as players, as people. What's going to be different about it for you now? There's going to be plenty of planning involved in how the summer recruitment's going to go, working closely with the likes of, of Matt Jordan, mm -hmm. uh, Ben, Steph, Dan, Lee, everybody like that. Now, what's going to be different for you and is it something that you're looking forward to experiencing as a head coach? Yeah, extremely excited about it. Um, I'm, I'm a hard-working person, that's how I approach things. So it'll be a lot of hard work. Um, there'll be a lot of um, endless hours of, of, um, of discussions, of communications. I look forward to all of that, mate. Of course, the, the, there's a routine that needs to come into place and the, the, the end point of a lot of this stuff will be that first day of pre-season and making sure that, that we're all boxed off and, um, and that side of things is spot on. Um, it's going to be a busy summer, but it's one I'm looking forward to. Speaking of other things to, to bring into the process for this now, it's a, a number two for yourself. That There was a thorough process to, to narrow it down to get to this point where we sat in front of each other, it's going to be exactly the same again. To you know, to a point of number two for yourself. What sort of qualities are you looking for personally to bring in as it, as that number two to you? Yeah, you're spot on with how that's going to be, um, and it, I think it's important that it's that. I think that um, the, the 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 thing that is running right through the middle of this is we, everyone wants needs to work together, and there can't be. Um, any aspect of the football club, I believe, that is separate from it. So that right person uh, who comes in, um, and I'm looking forward to working with, is somebody who um, kind of fosters all of those values and beliefs that I have. I want it to be someone who challenges me. I want it to be somebody who, um, uh, when I give a certain thought, okay, but have you seen it from this point of view? And I also want it to be somebody who has that same value and has that same desire to improve players that I do. Um, so all of the values that I stand for, that person needs to stand for as well. You mentioned those values and I think whoever comes in with you has got to buy into you know the, the ethos that the club has got that you want to bring in as well and that is the community aspect as well isn't it? How important as we've seen over the last you know couple of years are the fans going to be to to getting behind you and getting behind whoever you bring in this year? They can play such a key, crucial part, can't they, the supporters as well? The supporters can be everything. I don't know if people are watching the playoff games at the moment. They saw the Luton game the other day, saw the Sheffield Wednesday game last night. The support, it's exactly the same in the in the stadium that we've got behind us here. And when it's rocking like that, it's a hell of a place to be. But that's what I talk about when it's um, when everyone's together. And I want to start that. We start the ball rolling straight away with everybody together. This is a fantastic football club and a fantastic community. 
that are desperate to get behind their football team and they're desperate for something to shout about and they're desperate for a team of hard-working people out there. Um, I aim to give that to them. I want us all to be pulling in the same direction as a football club. I'm desperate for that to be the place and I'll work tirelessly for that to be um, who we are as a football club. I believe that um, I'll give us an identity. I believe I'll give us something to, to really hold on to as supporters, as fans, as a club, as staff, everything. Um, and, and that's that's where I set my stall out. And hopefully the supporters will have experienced that little bit of a taste of it from those three games of the identity that you're all now looking to bring into the club. Yeah, yeah, of course. Obviously that was a, a microcosm of um, a full season, if you like. Um, and um, I hope it's not all like the Sutton, um, Salford game was um, in, in the sense of that, you know, the, the madness of, of that game. But... Um, yeah, listen, I want to play front foot football. Desperate to be on the front foot. I wanted to um, be organised with how we play in our structure. And when the time's right, I want us to move the football. Um, so again, I'll, I'm here to create an identity of, of who we want at the football club, how we want to play. Um, and I hope and our desire when we start that game, whenever the first fixture's out, first home fixture, first away fixture, we'll start to see how that is. And we'll start to evolve as a football club, of course, throughout the season. Once again, congratulations. Cheers, mate. Thank you.